Despite what many people have been saying online. But a third and a fifth for Nikita Zadorov. Pinder, uh, your thoughts on the return? Uh, it, it feels a little late to me, do you know? The Calgary Flames actually won the Nikita Zadorov trade. Nikita Zadorov is a decent player, but he's a third pair defenseman making close to $4 million a year. Thus, he is an overpaid player. The thought that he would be worth a second round pick, or perhaps a second round pick and even more, would only make sense if he was on a deal like a league minimum. Take for example Luke Shen's deal last year. It was $850,000 and he was traded for a third round pick. The fact that GM Craig Conroy was able to get a third round pick and a fifth round pick for a third pair D-men making close to $4 million is actually a great trade. It's an especially great trade because as of right now, so many teams are right up against the salary cap. The Calgary Flames retained 0% of this contract. This now puts the Flames in a position to be one of the only teams in the league with any cap space at all. This is extremely valuable in this season, which every team is right up against the salary cap. Whether the Flames want to be buyers at the trade deadline, they'll be able to get a player that other teams cannot afford, or if they want to be a seller at the trade deadline, they'll be able to take on a little bit of cap space in order to get more assets from other teams. So overall, Craig Conroy did a great job in this trade, and I think this is definitely a win for the Calgary Flames. And again, I want to make this video because I think the consensus among Flames fans and among the hockey world in general is that the Canucks actually won this trade, and I obviously disagree.